Kenny's probably the most fun character I've ever got to play, and I'm very grateful that Rochelle created that monster. <laughs> Mary Jane was was different genius, you know. I mean, it came pretty natural. <laughs> Something I learned about myself um, was that I am not very good at writing on a chalkboard. <laughs> I didn't really have a character that was particularly difficult to play. He was basically tension relief. So, <laughs> not comic relief, but tension relief. So every time there was some sort of tension, the scene had been going down for too long, I was injected in there and quite literally came in to save the day. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I definitely did learn something. When I get into a room, I kind of want to not please everybody, but make sure everybody's comfortable in the room. And that was hard for me to, to go against in the drama because when the girls first come in, I wanted to be like, how are you? What are you doing? You know, welcome, kind of. And it just did not fit. <laughs> so it was hard for me to get past that and just be more mature. Don't try to be a room pleaser because they're learning. They have to kind of deal with this their own way in a little bit. Um, so that was the biggest thing for me that I had to learn. And I learned about myself too. And so I've thought about it, you know, the more I go along, oh yeah, I kind of do that. <laughs> so to have someone point it out to you is, is good. Out of the years, I've been uh, a very <laughs> flamboyant character. Um, <laughs> but la started last year and was more solidified this year. I don't like playing subtle characters. <laughs> uh, they are a lot harder to play, which is, I know is a very good thing but they're just harder to play. Because when you, when you don't have a out there kind of character, you have to learn how to portray different emotions and all that in a very small scale. Something else that was a little difficult, it seemed like, especially at the beginning with Alice, Sophia, having to treat her as like a classmate and a friend instead of a sister. Mm -hmm. So that was a little bit, I had to change my mindset on that. We were all pretty close, at least most of us, but learning how to make our characters close and yes. act in our characters differently than we're just friends. Like Miss Julia made the comment one time on first scene, she said, you guys all look like such good friends. And we kind of laughed and she's like, no, no, it's like your characters are really good friends. I know you guys are really good friends, but you're making your characters act like really good friends. Sam was definitely who I want to be because I really liked how he was willing to help Kenny, but he wasn't going to feel the need to help so much that he ends up doing things that aren't helpful. So he had self-control. He didn't do things that actually pushed Kenny away. And he didn't like feel the need to always be telling Kenny things that are actually not helpful. Like if you were constantly being like, Kenny, you need to back away from my sister because you're a creep. That would not be very good for Kenny. And it would also not be good for Sam because he'd be giving in to his emotions. And I felt like it was really helpful to kind of visualize somebody who I felt like had the same natural responses as me, but was very good at controlling them and channeling them. Something interesting about this year, just because they're fictional characters, but they're based on very real life people. When you do like a normal person, making them interesting and not getting boring and being very realistic, which is, I think it's harder because it's little small things. And then trying to balance that normal life so people can relate to it with the girls we were playing were very intelligent, but highly, highly intelligent um, in making that realistic. I think one thing that just I kind of thought about, so Alice was probably much more similar to me than last year's. And so it was a bit of a, <laughs> it was a bit, it's really interesting to portray characters like that. And then sometimes whenever they're more similar to you, it's almost hard to like get all the way into the other character. You're kind of like half in, half out, and you're kind of like, which part is me, which part's Alice? And so it was definitely interesting. I think one thing that it kind of reminded me, she had so many like really good things planned out. She was gonna graduate, she had really good friends and family, and like she knew what she was doing after that. And then it was like a couple of weeks later, it was all totally different. Mm -hmm. And just seeing how she kind of navigated through that, and also just navigating the new experience of not having her brother there anymore. That she was dedicated to helping her friends and her family and serving the Lord, but she wasn't always 
confident and sure. And just remembering that even if you're not completely confident, it doesn't mean you're less dedicated, it just means you aren't as clear of all of the little steps that you're going to take to get there.